Welcome to Bible Stories, where we explore the most captivating and mysterious aspects of biblical history, faith, and prophecy. In today's episode, we're diving deep into one of the Bible's most enduring mysteries, the Lost Tribes of Israel. These ten tribes, once part of a united kingdom under King David and Solomon, seemingly vanished from history after being scattered by the Assyrian Empire. Where did they go? Could they still exist today? hidden in plain sight among nations across the globe? And what role do they play in the Bible's prophecies about the end times? In this video, we'll uncover the shocking truth about the lost tribes, examining the ancient biblical roots of Israel's 12 tribes, exploring the claims of groups from Ethiopia, India, Nigeria, and more, who believe they are descendants of these lost tribes. Are we witnessing the fulfillment of ancient prophecies as these groups emerge, scattered across the world? Stick with us to find out. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future episodes. If you find this video enlightening, don't forget to like it and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, share this with your church group, family, and friends. Let's spread the word about these fascinating biblical mysteries. Imagine for a moment that the once unified ancient nation of Israel under the reigns of King David and Solomon, eventually splintered into two separate kingdoms, leading to the disappearance of ten of its tribes. These tribes seem to vanish from the pages of history, dispersed across the world in ways that are still being uncovered today. The twelve tribes of Israel form the foundational narrative of biblical history, yet the mystery of the so-called ten lost tribes remains one of the Bible's most enduring enigmas. What did they go? Could they still exist today? And how do they factor into biblical prophecies concerning the end of days? The Bible reveals that God specifically chose these tribes for a divine purpose. However, due to their disobedience and persistent sin, they were scattered to the far reaches of the earth. Today, many groups from various regions such as Ethiopia, India, parts of Asia, and even the Americas claim to be descendants of these lost tribes. Could the re-emergence of these scattered people be the fulfillment of ancient biblical prophecies? And what implications does this have for the unfolding of humanity's final chapter? In this video, we will delve into the biblical roots of the 12 tribes of Israel, investigate how 10 of these tribes became lost, and examine the modern groups who assert they are the descendants of these tribes. Most significantly, we will explore the prophetic significance of their return in the context of the end times. Bible stories will guide you through a journey across millennia, demonstrating how these ancient prophecies are still active and evolving in today's world. The origins of the twelve tribes of Israel can be traced back to Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, who had twelve sons. In a pivotal biblical moment, Jacob wrestled with God and was renamed Israel, meaning one who struggles with God. Each of his twelve sons became the patriarch of a tribe that inherited a specific portion of the promised land. These sons, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, whose two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, each received their own inheritance, and Benjamin, together formed the unified nation of Israel. Judah and Benjamin occupied the southern kingdom while the other ten tribes, often referred to as the Northern Kingdom, settled in the north under the leadership of tribes like Ephraim and Manasseh. In Genesis 49, Jacob prophesied about each tribe's unique destiny. However, their disobedience to God's covenant led to a profound change in their fate. Following the reign of King Solomon, the United Kingdom of Israel was divided into two. The Southern Kingdom, known as Judah, was primarily composed of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. Meanwhile, the northern kingdom, referred to as Israel, consisted of the remaining ten tribes, including Reuben, Simeon, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Ephraim, and Manasseh. Soon after, the northern kingdom fell into idolatry and rebellion against God. Despite repeated warnings from prophets like Hosea and Amos, the people continued to stray from God's commandments. In 722 BC, God's judgment came in the form of the Assyrian Empire, which invaded the northern kingdom, captured its people, and scattered them throughout the vast Assyrian territories. 
As described in 2 Kings 17 verse 6, the king of Assyria deported the people of Israel and settled them in various places across the empire. Over time, these ten tribes assimilated into the surrounding cultures, and their distinct identities became blurred, earning them the moniker, the Lost Tribes of Israel. But are they truly lost, or are they simply awaiting a prophetic revelation in the end times? The disappearance of the ten Lost Tribes is one of the most captivating mysteries in the Bible. After the Assyrian conquest, these tribes were scattered, their identities seemingly lost as they were absorbed by surrounding cultures. Yet, both the Bible and Jewish tradition suggest that the tribes were not completely eradicated, but were dispersed among nations, waiting for a future return as part of a divine plan. Over the centuries, various groups around the world have claimed descent from these tribes, maintaining ancient Jewish customs, beliefs, and traditions despite their geographical isolation. Some of these groups have gained prominence in the modern world, while others have remained relatively obscure. All, however, share the belief in their direct connection to the lost tribes of Israel. Let's explore a few notable groups who believe they are descendants of the lost tribes. 1. Beta Israel, Ethiopian Jews One of the most recognized groups claiming descent from the lost tribes is Beta Israel, or the Ethiopian Jews, who believe they descend from the tribe of Dan. The Ethiopian Jewish community, which has existed for thousands of years, preserved unique Jewish customs, including the observance of the Sabbath, circumcision, kosher dietary laws, and various religious festivals. Despite centuries of isolation from the broader Jewish world, their strong adherence to these practices has set them apart from other African groups. The Beta Israel community's oral traditions tell of a migration from Israel to Ethiopia via Egypt, establishing their link to the ancient Israelite people. In modern times, these traditions were recognized when Israel officially acknowledged Beta Israel as part of the Jewish people. Through operations like Operation Moses in 1984 and Operation Solomon in 1991, tens of thousands of Ethiopian Jews were airlifted to Israel, marking a modern-day fulfillment of the prophecy regarding the regathering of Israel's exiles. 2. Bene Israel, Indian Jews The Bene Israel community, primarily located in western India, traces its roots back to the lost tribe of Ephraim. According to their oral tradition, their ancestors were shipwrecked on the Indian coast, possibly during the Assyrian exile, and formed a Jewish community. Over the centuries, they remained isolated from the broader Jewish world, but preserved key Jewish customs, such as observing the Sabbath and circumcision. Despite limited contact with other Jewish communities, the Bene Israel maintained a strong sense of Jewish identity, and their claim of descent from the tribe of Ephraim is considered plausible by many scholars. In recent years, some members of the Bene Israel community have migrated to Israel, further contributing to the fulfillment of biblical prophecies of the return of the lost tribes. 3. Pashtun Tribes Afghanistan and Pakistan The Pashtun people of Afghanistan and Pakistan, also known as Patans, claim descent from the lost tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, the sons of Joseph. This claim is supported by their ancient traditions, many of which resemble those of the Israelites. For example, many Pashtun tribes practice circumcision, avoid pork, and observe other customs that mirror ancient Israelite law. Their oral traditions consistently refer to their Israelite heritage, and some Pashtun tribes even bear names similar to those of Israelite tribes. While scholars remain divided on the validity of these claims, the persistence of these traditions and the size of the Pashtun population offer a fascinating dimension to the narrative of the lost tribes. 4. Igbo Jews, Nigeria the Igbo people of Nigeria have long maintained that they are descendants of the Lost Tribes, particularly the tribes of Gad and Zebulun. Their cultural traditions include practices similar to those found in Judaism, such as circumcision on the eighth day and the observance of religious festivals. While their claims are not widely recognized by the global Jewish community, there is growing interest in their connection to the Lost Tribes. Through these examples, we see how the mystery of the lost tribes continues to captivate both religious scholars and everyday believers, with the possibility of these tribes' return playing a significant role in the unfolding of end-time prophecies.
Imagine discovering that members of the Igbo community in Nigeria, who have long claimed a connection to ancient Israel, are now formally converting to mainstream Judaism. In recent years, many Igbo people have not only embraced their ancestral heritage, but have also immigrated to Israel, seeking to reconnect with their lost lineage. Their ties to the tribes of Gad and Zebulun are part of a larger movement sweeping across Africa where numerous groups are uncovering their own connections to the lost remnants of Israel's ten tribes. This resurgence raises the possibility that many more such communities, with similar ties to the lost tribes, could emerge in the near future. The Lemba, descendants of the tribe of Levi. Another intriguing example is the Lemba people, found primarily in Zimbabwe and South Africa. They have long claimed to be descendants of ancient Israelites, specifically from the tribe of Levi. Their oral traditions tell of a migration from the Middle East to Africa centuries ago. Their customs, which include practices like circumcision, kosher-like dietary restrictions, and strict Sabbath observance, have fascinated scholars for years. Recent DNA testing has added weight to their claims revealing that a significant portion of the Lemba population carries the Cohen modal haplotype, a genetic marker linked to the priestly line of Aaron. This discovery has lent considerable credibility to the Lemba's claim of descent from the tribe of Levi. What makes the Lemba story especially captivating is that it suggests the priestly line of Levi, though scattered across the globe, may have endured in some of the most unexpected places. Their physical and spiritual return to Israel could be part of the larger biblical prophecy of the regathering of the lost tribes. Biblical prophecies and the regathering of the lost tribes. The Bible emphasizes that the lost tribes of Israel are not forgotten by God. Their return is a central theme in several end time prophecies. One of the most vivid descriptions of their regathering appears in Ezekiel 37 where the prophet speaks of the Valley of Dry Bones. In this vision, God promises to breathe new life into the scattered tribes and reunite them with Judah. Ezekiel 37 verse 22 proclaims, I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. There will be one king over all of them, and they will never again be two nations or be divided into two kingdoms. This prophecy points to a future time when the lost tribes will be restored and Israel will once again be united as a single nation under the rule of the Messiah. The regathering of these tribes is seen as a pivotal event in God's divine plan for the end times. Isaiah 11 verse 12 also speaks of this event, referring to a second regathering of Israel. The passage indicates that God will once again reach out to reclaim his people from all corners of the world. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. This verse hints at a global regathering, one that surpasses the return from Babylonian exile and includes the lost tribes of the northern kingdom. Many believe that these prophecies are beginning to unfold today, as groups like the Beta Israel of Ethiopia and the Bene Israel of India have returned to Israel fulfilling part of these ancient promises. However, the ultimate fulfillment will only come when all 12 tribes are fully restored to their ancestral homeland. The Role of the Lost Tribes in the End Times In the book of Revelation, we see the tribes of Israel appear again, represented by 144,000 individuals, 12,000 from each tribe, who are sealed for protection during the Great Tribulation, Revelation 7 verse 4. This passage reaffirms the significant role that even the lost tribes will play in God's final plan for humanity. The Bible makes it clear that the return of the lost tribes is not merely a historical curiosity. It is a crucial element in the unfolding of end-time events. According to biblical prophecy, the lost tribes will be restored and reunited with Judah. Together, they will play a central role in establishing God's kingdom on earth. This regathering will be a supernatural act of God, a clear signal that the final days are drawing near. As groups claiming descent from the lost tribes continue to emerge, many are watching closely, believing that their reappearance is a sign that God's promises are being fulfilled. The story of the lost tribes of Israel is far from over. Although their fate seemed uncertain for centuries, 
The Bible assures us that God has not forgotten them. Through communities like the Beta Israel of Ethiopia and the Pashtun of Afghanistan, we see the first signs of their return. The prophecies in Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Revelation tell us that these tribes will play a key role in the end times, as they are gathered from the farthest reaches of the earth and reunited with the tribes of Judah under the Messiah's reign. As we witness the gradual reappearance of these lost tribes, it serves as a powerful reminder that God's ultimate plan for Israel, and indeed for the entire world, is unfolding before our very eyes. If this deep dive into the 12 tribes of Israel and their prophetic significance has piqued your interest, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through one of the Bible's most compelling stories, the search for the lost tribes of Israel. As we've seen today, these tribes may not be as lost as we once thought. From the Beta Israel in Ethiopia to the Pashtun of Afghanistan, many groups around the world are emerging with claims that link them to these ancient tribes. The Role of the Lost Tribes in the End Times In the Book of Revelation, we see the tribes of Israel appear again, represented by 144,000 individuals, 12,000 from each tribe, who were sealed for protection during the Great Tribulation, Revelation 7 verse 4. This passage reaffirms the significant role that even the lost tribes will play in God's final plan for humanity. The Bible makes it clear that the return of the lost tribes is not merely a historical curiosity. It is a crucial element in the unfolding of end-time events. According to biblical prophecy, the lost tribes will be restored and reunited with Judah. Together, they will play a central role in establishing God's kingdom on earth. This regathering will be a supernatural act of God, a clear signal that the final days are drawing near. As groups claiming descent from the lost tribes continue to emerge, many are watching closely, believing that their reappearance is a sign that God's promises are being fulfilled. The story of the lost tribes of Israel is far from over. Although their fate seemed uncertain for centuries, the Bible assures us that God has not forgotten them. Through communities like the Beta Israel of Ethiopia and the Pashtun of Afghanistan, we see the first signs of their return. The prophecies in Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Revelation tell us that these tribes will play a key role in the end times, as they are gathered from the farthest reaches of the earth and reunited with the tribes of Judah under the Messiah's reign. As we witness the gradual reappearance of these lost tribes, it serves as a powerful reminder that God's ultimate plan for Israel and indeed for the entire world, is unfolding before our very eyes. If this deep dive into the 12 tribes of Israel and their prophetic significance has piqued your interest, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through one of the Bible's most compelling stories, the search for the lost tribes of Israel. As we've seen today, these tribes may not be as lost as we once thought. From the Beta Israel in Ethiopia to the Pashtun of Afghanistan, many groups around the world are emerging with claims that link them to these ancient tribes. And as we move closer to the fulfillment of biblical prophecy, their reappearance serves as a powerful reminder that God's promises are still unfolding before our eyes. If today's episode sparked your curiosity or deepened your understanding of the Bible, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Have you heard of other groups claiming descent from the Lost Tribes? Do you think we're witnessing the fulfillment of end-time prophecies? Let's keep the conversation going. And of course, don't forget to share this video with your church group, family, and friends. Together, we can explore these profound biblical mysteries and grow deeper in faith. Thank you for watching Bible Stories, and we'll see you in the next episode.